welcome back to my channel i'm tashanique and today i'm gonna show you how i did my 24 inch marley twist very 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 excited to show you this because it was my absolute first time and it actually came out okay <laughs> So I'm doing my first Marley twist. It's uh, 24 inches. This is what I use. It's called Toyo Tress. I ordered this on Amazon. I will leave the link below. And this is how it came. Uh, six, six packs of hair. I already took two out, but it's it's usually six in the pack. I love this here because it's so easy to handle and this is how it comes. So you don't have to be trying to part it yourself or like measuring anything. I'm not doing like a, like a super neat part. So I'm just trying to get this hair in and <laughs> not have to worry with my hair for the summer. Have it in a protective style and this is what I thought I would do. And what I'm using too, even though my hair is already oily, it, or, it already has like uh, moisturizers in it, including this. This is one of my favorites. I don't know if you can see it. It says Yaya Creations Shebe Butter. I bought this from um, a YouTuber. She makes these. It smells delicious. It smells like cocoa and it's super soft. It literally melts in your hand and in your hair. I love it. I've been using um, Murray's beeswax to just seal the ends. Just so you don't have, when you're twisting it, you have the end just like bulking out of the braids. So I'm using two of these for my hair for each part. I've been just kind of brushing out the ends a little bit. You don't have to do that to the ends. You could leave it because I left it for some. It's just that it tends to tangle up a bit when I'm at the ends. But put two together like this, comb it out a little bit, so the ends are. And then I have my part ready. Then I pretty much twist the middle. So I measure it and make sure it's the middle. Then I twist it like this, right? And then I plait it into my hair, like with my hair. So I know I'm doing a Marley twist, but what I do for the roots to make it easy is to just plait it in. Okay, so I plait it in and then I split my hair and put it with this kind of twist it around a little bit right get a little bit of beeswax and then do it like this Now, when you're reaching the end of your hair, you know the length of your hair. So make sure to put a little bit of extra of your gel or your jam or whatever you're using just to keep the ends in so it won't be poking out. And I need some sleep. Look at this. She's excited. Bags, baby. Not the Birkin type. Not the Birkin type, unfortunately. I'm telling you, if I can do this, anybody can do this. I've never been a hair person like that at all. And if I can do some Marty twist in my own head, then you can do some Marty twist in your own head. Cause what I'm at. Hello. How far may I come from with this hair team? This is how we're looking so far. I'm almost finished. 
the roots aren't perfect i wanted the roots to be uh, tighter but i have to work on that Thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope you liked it if you liked it please like it and i know this is a little bit annoying because every single youtube video you go to they're like please subscribe but i am a new channel and i would truly appreciate it if you do subscribe i hope you learned something from it uh if you try this yourself leave a comment below i'll leave the link for the hair in the description in the bio section in the description because there's no live section music. I'll leave the link below for the hair where I bought it so you can just easily order online or if you have a store close to you even better peace and love guys thank you for watching this video I appreciate you love love and have a safe 2020